Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today we're looking at how to use Roll20's page folders and the party toolbox. This allows you to take your maps from a chaotic mess like this into a neatly organized structure like this. And it also gives you the ability to quickly move individual party members onto specific maps regardless of whether or not they're logged into your game. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. All right, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is make sure that we've got the new UI enabled in Roll20. So go over to your settings cog and make sure that UI redesign is enabled. And then once it is, we're good to go. Let's go ahead. We're going to open up the new page toolbar by clicking on this icon right here. And the first thing that I want to do is set up some folders so that my maps are better organized. As you can see, I'm running Fandelver and below the shattered obelisk. And so what I want to do is group my maps together based on what chapter of the book they belong to. So I'm going to start out here by clicking add folder. And then I'm just going to give my folder a name and I'm just going to call it chapter one. Okay. Now with that done, what I can do is just drag maps into this folder. So for example, the goblin ambush map, I can just drag that right into chapter one. And now you see that the number on the folder has changed to the number one. That means there's one map inside this folder. And over here in the sidebar, we can see that chapter one has one map in it. You can collapse this display to give yourself more real estate, but I'm going to keep it open for purposes of our video today. You can also drag maps from the collection into the folders directly like this. And finally, you can also create folders by dragging two maps on top of one another. So for example, this sleeping giant map that I created and the Fandolin street map are both part of what happens in chapter two. I can drag one of them on top of the other, create a folder, and then I'll just name that folder chapter two. So I fast forwarded time a little bit here and created a couple more folders and put the appropriate maps in them. But I also wanted to show that you can search for maps here as well. So in chapter five of this module, there's a map called the well cavern. I can just start typing and you see that it gives me the map that match my search criteria. So I want to use the well cavern and put that into chapter five. If you'd like to reorder your folders, so you see here I have chapter two, chapter one, chapter three, click on all, and then you can just reorder them by dragging them around like this. You can nest folders as well. So as I drag chapter one on top of chapter two, it puts them in pink. And what that'll mean is it will make chapter one a subfolder of chapter two, as you see right here. But I really don't want that. So what I'm going to do is jump into chapter two again and just drag chapter one back up to all. And then I can reorganize them as I'd like. So I fast forwarded time again. I've created folders for all the chapters in the module and I've added all the appropriate maps into those folders. I can take a look at what I've got left and I realize, oh shoot, this spawn hollow map that actually belongs in chapter seven. I can just pop it right in there, clean that up. And then there are a few other maps that maybe I'm not going to use anymore. Like for example, this generic battle map, I'm not going to use that. I can just click on this, scroll down and select archive page. And that will put the map into a special archived folder where I can restore it later if I want. Same thing with the example dynamic lighting page here. This is really great when you're first setting up and getting used to how Roll20 does dynamic lighting. But after you've done it a few times, you know, you can just archive this safely. Same thing with the Roll20 tips. We'll go ahead and archive those out of the way as well. So what that leaves me with now is a very neatly organized page structure that I can just jump into, know exactly what maps I need for what parts of my adventure, and it's a lot easier to navigate. The final thing I want to mention today is the new party toolbox that Roll20 has introduced. So historically, we've moved our players from map to map by dragging a ribbon to a new page, like I've just done here. That puts all my players onto the welcome page. The party toolbox allows you to do that. I can drag my players onto say camp map one, but I can also drag individual players onto specific maps, regardless of whether or not they're currently logged into my game. So if I want Eric here to enter the game and land on map two, I can tick the box next to his name and then drag his avatar onto camp map two. And that splits out the party here showing me who's on camp map one and who's on camp map two. And if I want to put other players onto a different map, so let's say I want to put Thomas and Nemreth onto camp map three, I'll uncheck Eric here and drag them 
onto Camp Map 3. And now I've got a breakout of who's on Map 1, who's on Map 2, and who's on Map 3. If you want to quickly switch your view as the DM to one of these other maps, there's a little locate player icon next to each player's name. And when you click that, it jumps your view specifically to that page so you can see exactly what they're seeing in that specific map. And then when you're ready to pull everybody back together, click the regroup all button and that moves all your players onto the page that has the party ribbon on it. But Nick, you say, how do I drag my players into one of these folders? Well, there's two ways you can do that. First, you can click on a particular folder and then just drag the party ribbon or an individual player onto the desired map. Or you can type in the search box and go ahead and once you've got search results, drag the party ribbon onto that as well. Either way, it makes it really quick and easy to get your players onto the map that you need. And when the ribbon has been moved onto a map that's inside a particular folder, when you go back to the all view, this icon indicates that the player ribbon is on a map inside this particular folder. So there you have it. That's how you can use Roll20's new page folders and the party toolbox. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Until next time, folks, have a great day.